Chapter 3. Just a day. Just an ordinary day. Ryuga slapped the button on his alarm clock and sat up in bed. It was rare that he had a good night's sleep without the stress of nightmares, but his subconscious saw fit to give him respite. Maybe I should get into fights more often, he thought to himself as he stretched his body. All that lingered was a bit of soreness in his stomach and jaw. The remainder of his injuries were gone for the most part. This was nothing new to Ryuga, and he didn't think twice about it. It was as common to him as breathing. He got dressed and prepared for school, prayed and said goodbye to his mother, then made his way to class as usual. There were a plethora of things on his mind. Strangely enough, none of them in regards to his being attacked by his classmates. Mostly, Ryuga thought about his finances. He wondered if he'd have enough money to do what he needed to later on today. This thought consumed him as he made his way to class. Yeah, man, we put that little clown in his place. He won't be able to walk straight for weeks. He'll think twice now before talking to your girl, Tarad. Benji said as he chuckled and joked with Tarad. The four jocks were huddled around Tarad's desk as usual every morning. Oh, Tarad's got a girl? Who is it? Akira asked as she put her fingertip against her lips quizzically. Oh, um, no one, no one. Benji said sheepishly, unaware that Akira had been within earshot. Akira. Tarad said with a slight smile. Hello, Tarad. Akira noticed someone entering the classroom. Oh, Ryuga. Hey. Akira said, completely ignoring Tarad and instead choosing to meet Ryuga at the doorway. Oh, hey, Akira. How are you this morning? Ryuga said, immediately feeling eyes upon him. What the fuck? How is he even here right now? Do you see him? He looks untouched. Benji whispered to Jin. Dude, there's no way. He should be half dead or something. Jin whispered back. Tarad's mouth gaped open for a moment before he was overtaken by a wave of jealousy. Akira and Ryuga carried on their conversation all the way to his seat. Tarad and his crew's gaze remained glued to their every movement. Ryuga, Linda and a few other people are planning to hang out after class today. Would you like to come along? Akira asked as she sat down in Jin's seat across the way from Ryuga's desk. I can't today. I've got some plans. Ryuga replied as he put his belongings down on his desk and took his seat. Oh, they said you'd say that. Are you too good to hang out with me, Ryuga? Akira asked, pouting a bit. No. <laughs> Ryuga couldn't help but laugh. He wondered if Akira really knew the true face of the people she was inviting him to hang out with. He also wondered if she'd still be so amicable if she knew what happened yesterday. He had no doubt that Linda was an instigator in having Ryuga roughed up. It's nothing like that. It's actually a personal matter, Ryuga said with a faint smile. Oh? Does someone have a girlfriend? A super secret girlfriend? Akira drew extremely close as she spoke. Her face was centimeters from his. So close, in fact, that the others in the classroom might actually think they were kissing. No, actually, I need to go visit my mom's grave later. Ryuga finally relented. He was always hesitant to tell anyone about his situation. But within the past three days, Akira had learned more about him than anyone in his class. Was it truly okay? Somewhere in the back of his mind, Ryuga wondered if there was some kind of weird popular girl initiation. Befriend the outcast, get him to spill his deepest, darkest secrets, then expose him for the sap he is. Perhaps it was his insecurity talking, but the lingering seeds of doubt planted by Tarid were definitely beginning to take root. What's going on here? Tarid seemed to come out of nowhere, placing his arm around Akira's shoulder. You talking to my girl, bro? Tarid said. A cheeky sneer on his face which was quickly replaced when Akira slapped his arm off of her shoulders and straightened him out. I don't ever remember saying I'd be your girl. Please don't make that decision for me. Anyway, Ryuga and I are talking. You're interrupting. She was so direct that Tarad was left speechless. After several awkward seconds, he was forced to recover with an excuse. Of course, I was just joking. <laughs> Tarid said dryly as he retreated back across the classroom to his seat. Oh? Who's in a secret relationship now? Ryuga said with a teasing chuckle and a huge smile. 
Never. He's not my type at all, Akira said as she waved her hand in a dismissing manner. Anyway, um, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring up a subject you may not be comfortable talking about, Akira began. No, it's okay. It happened years ago. It's not really like it's some big secret, Ryuga said as he reassured Akira. Uh, but still, I know the feeling. My father, he just passed on recently. In fact, it's the reason for our move, so I can definitely understand what it's like to lose a loved one. Ryuga couldn't help but clench his fist at the very word, father. What's a father? He caught himself and eased up a bit as he took note of the sadness now clouding Akira's face. Akira, Ryuga said softly. What am I doing? He thought to himself. Doubting her because of what some douchebag said? Akira, I can't say it gets better. I still think about my mom every day. Ryuga began as he took Akira by the hand. But what I can promise is that eventually the pain you feel will be replaced by fond memories. Akira seemed flustered by his sudden contact, but she didn't shy away. Thank you, Ryuga. Um, well, I'm gonna go back to my seat now before class starts. Maybe we'll talk at lunch? Akira quickly got to her feet and made her way back to her chair. Was that my imagination, or did she just get flustered? Ryuga thought to himself as Jin walked over to take his seat. You little poser! Marching in here like we didn't work you over yesterday? Don't think you're gonna get off light again. Jin whispered, but Ryuga barely registered the goon's threats. Kill yourself, underling. Ryuga finally said, staring directly into Jin's eyes as he spoke. The words surprised even Ryuga himself, for they weren't planned. They just seemed to jump out of his body. It was almost as if someone else were speaking for him. Even Jin looked surprised at first, before his brow furled in anger. You're fucking dead! Jin started to bellow as he got to his feet. Attention class! Everyone take their seats! Class is starting! Mrs. Konami's glare was directed right at Jin, who had little choice but to sink back into his seat, grumbling as he did so. Ryuga then shot a glance over at Tarid, whom he'd never seen so angry. A literal vein was popping in his forehead. Next, he glanced over at Linda, who seemed to be re-evaluating her opinion of him on the spot. Finally, he glanced over at Akira, who seemed to be fidgeting in her seat a bit as she accidentally dropped her ink pen. Ryuga could do little else but sigh and smile. Somehow, he'd been roped into some weird classroom drama.